so a uh, very good afternoon to everyone i am yeah. amand nawat scientist b and member secretary of uh, renewable energy sources sectional committee uh, so uh, with the uh, chair sir permission uh, we will start the uh, webinar so i welcome you all to the webinar on development of indian standard on small medium and large scale biogas plant which has been organized by the mechanical engineering department of bis i think you all uh, for uh, i thank you all for sparing your valuable time for this event now i, I request our head mechanical engineering department shri rajesh kosla scientist f and head mechanical engineering department for his welcome address and objective of the webinar over to you sir thank you uh, respected uh, shri ak tripathi ji scientist ji uh, mnri uh, Shri A. R. Shukla Ji, President, Indian Biogas Association, retired scientist Ji, MNRI. Uh, Shri Sanjay Pan Ji, Deputy Director General Standardization, BIS. Distinguished speakers and participants of this webinar. First of all, I would uh, like to thank uh, uh, Dr. A. R. Shukla and his panel who have worked very hard, very efficiently. Uh, to formulate this standard on small scale, medium scale, and large scale biogas plants using different type of inputs, uh, uh, organic, uh, various organic inputs for rural as well as urban uh, areas, and uh, coming up with the draft in such a short period of time. And I can tell you that immense hard work has gone uh, uh, under the guidance of our uh, convener, sir, Mr. Shukla. In formulating this standard, and it will go a long way in setting uh, up and standardization of biogas plants that are coming up in the country. So I thank you, sir. Uh, and uh, uh, with these words, I will uh, just like to tell the objective of the webinar. The objective of the webinar is our draft is under wide circulation, and uh, uh, it is completing the wide circulation. On 25th of December, after which, uh, if the comments are received, we will discuss the comments and then it will be put up uh, for publication. So, uh, uh, in the new year, we are expecting that uh, in the month of January or February, we will be able to come up with the final standard. So, uh, this webinar is being organized to create awareness as well as uh, approach different stakeholders that we have made a national level document. Kindly come forward. Read it. If you find any suggestions, any uh, things that you want that we should add in the standard, kindly come forward. Give us your comments, and we will incorporate it. So, uh, without wasting much time, as much learned speakers are here, I will uh, now hand over the proceeding to our DDG Sir, Mr. Sanjay Panji, to uh, give us his guidance. Uh, under his guidance, we have been able to uh, work under this uh, biogas plant. He has. We have had had his all full support in all our endeavors. Sir, please. Thank you, Rajneesh. Uh, first of all, a warm welcome to uh, uh, Dr. Arun Kumar Tripathi Ji, scientist G, MNRE, and uh, chairman of uh, uh, MED4. Uh, uh, that is. Uh, the Renewable Energy Sources Section Committee, MED4 uh, of BIS, Dr. A.R. Shukla Ji, Advisor Bio Energy, formerly and in, at uh, MNRE, and uh, currently the President of uh, the Indian Biogas Association, New Delhi. Uh, sir, uh, a great welcome to both of you, sir. And uh, to Dr. Sachin Kumar, Deputy Director and Scientist uh, at Kapurthala, Punjab, uh, for the basic document and development that he has done. We have uh, Shri Pavitra Mohan Baniji Santisi MNRI also, who would also be speaking today. So welcome to all the learned uh, speakers, uh, convener of the concerned panel, the chairman, or I think all the major uh, players who have contributed to the development of this draft are here. So I welcome them. Welcome to all the participants uh, who are participating virtually. and. Uh, to this event. Uh, as you all know that uh, uh, this uh, we we have uh, to a continuous program for working for renewable energy sources. One of the best way to tap these sources is to 
uh, the uh, the standards available for them. Standards are culmination of the best practices in the field, the research, the scientific uh, work that has been done, uh, the experience and exposure that has been gathered over in part, uh, decades of uh, working with the uh, the technology. And therefore, it is very important that uh, we culminate all these uh, uh, information, knowledge, and wisdom into a document called the standard. And Indian standards are a very good repository of the great work being done by our scientists uh, because uh, they immortalize the knowledge. These are standing document. These are living document. These can be reviewed, amended, modified, revised uh, periodically because the technology uh, uh, also happens to undergo the same process. Uh, therefore, standards are the one of the best tools to for the success of any technological development. Uh, secondly, I would like to say that, uh, uh, of course, the standard IS 9478 in a revised form, as Rajneesh has mentioned, would be uh, published shortly after following the due process. Uh, these are, see, we have to understand that all these are very technological aspects. There is competing technologies. We can't, we will never be able to say that one technology is better than another. These are all competing technology and we have to understand in that context. So all technologies would be available. For example, a technology may be uh, suitable in rural context uh, and semi-urban uh, context, may not be suitable in urban context. Uh, there is a requirement of local skill, which is also capacity building. So if you see the technology per se, the skill availability, the, the, the location, uh, and and uh, the raw material and all these things will uh, ensure that we have many technologies available which will compete with each other, which will com complement each other and uh, that is the uh, way to success. And, uh, and therefore, uh, uh, we are adding, uh, but then all these technologies, you know, uh, will, uh, will be, these become, keep on becoming uh, the standard for them, keep on becoming outdated unless we upgrade them. And uh, I am uh, grateful to Dr. Shukla and Tripathiji and their entire team for uh, the, for this national uh, contribution that they have made in updating IS 9472 and uh, and making it uh, uh, scope also very wide. Now it is quite likely that uh, in all contexts, uh, whether it is a, a small family size or a medium family size or the large number of community size all would be able to effectively use it, use it and based on the feedback that we'll, uh, we will receive, we will keep on updating and revising it. I can ensure on behalf of BIS that we would include very, uh, very uh, uh, well-drawn drawings, sketches, these will be duly edited and one of the world-class standards. And they, we can show to, to, to international uh, how BIS and India and national scientists can work and deliver uh, in, in, in in international context. With that, I once again thank all the participants, welcome them, and wish this seminar a great success. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. So thank you very much, sir, for your kind words and setting up the tone for webinar. Now I request uh, Dr. Arun Kumar Tepati, uh, who is the chairman of uh, M Renewable Energy Sources Committee MD4 and Scientist G M N R E to give us uh, keynote address. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, I would not call it a keynote address, just a uh, discussion on the uh, uh, on the topic. Uh, the biogas has been one of the very pioneer program of the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Not on only this ministry. Uh, erstwhile, it was in the Agriculture Ministry. Thereafter, it was transferred to Ministry of new and renewable energy and, and there was a time when more than half of the budget of the ministry was being spent on this uh, program uh, over the period of time the, the things have evolved the technologies have evolved and uh, earlier it used to be the uh, gas holder uh, the, the, the kvic type biogas plant and then the fixed dome type came janta type and then the uh, this uh, 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 what what was the uh, another uh, another technology for the uh, uh, fixed dome type? There are many technologies came after that. Uh, the standard which was made in 1989. So uh, in fact, uh, in this ministry now we are having the exercise of revising all the standards, updating 
meeting all the standards as per the new uh, the updated uh, technology and the scenario available uh, right now in this context i really congratulate uh, bis and uh, sir uh, shukla ji for for his team for uh, bringing out uh, this uh, a very comprehensive uh, uh, this uh, standard uh, i have only one or two few observations thereafter we can uh, deliver on this and, and uh, before before i give my observation just an overview of the uh, biogas program in this ministry very recently the biogas program has been revitalized i would say the re uh, uh, oriented uh, and after a gap of uh, about one and half year the program has again been launched and uh, so uh, and with the scope of uh, various all types of the technologies so in that context also this uh, standard uh, will play a very very vital role to ensure the quality uh, of the biogas plants being installed to be installed uh, in the country uh, the scope of this uh, biogas this standard has increased uh, in in context of the two uh, aspects one uh, of the feed stock because we have generalized we have given included all the various type of the feed stock which can be Uh, which can be used uh, in the biogas plant earlier it used to be mainly the cow dung and the uh, bovine dung uh, but now it is a, a it is a waste of the uh, other materials also the second one is that the size of the biogas plant which has been included in this uh, size uh, earlier it used to be only the small scale now it is uh, medium scale and large scale uh, and it goes up to 2500 cubic meters per day so once we increase the size of the biogas plant then there are many associated equipments and systems also need to be uh, either included or increased or given more specification like like because if you go uh, for above uh, 2500 cubic meter or up to 1000 cubic meter uh, big size plants then you need a few mechanical uh, equipments for loading for mixing for handling uh, of the large quantity of the uh, of this uh, material uh, as well as the gas generation so uh, this aspect uh, uh, the, the committee can uh, can look into that whether there is a need for including few those aspects also or uh, because our this current uh, uh, normally it uh, uh, it addresses the uh, the the uh, feed stock and the uh, technology and other things but not the other uh, equipments so that also we can think of uh, increasing if if necessary i'm just trying to flag the uh, the issue of the in this context of these two things uh, otherwise uh, i find it is a very comprehensive uh, uh, comprehensive uh, standard and we can really uh, work on it uh, last date is 25th of december so we would be very very happy to receive comments if there are any comments we can include that or uh, we can publish it uh, after that because this is matching with the time of our uh, biogas program and we would also like to include it in our biogas program which is uh, being implemented right now thank you so much sir i would not take much time and i would like to listen more uh, for from the speakers and the comments of the participants thank you so much i welcome all the participants on i, I think you have already uh, welcome uh, on the behalf of pis so on the behalf of ministry of new and renewable energy also i would like to uh, to uh, to welcome all the participants and their uh, inputs because this ministry is a major uh, i would say the utilizer and the beneficiary of this standard uh, apart from these various states uh, which is going to happen thank you so much sir and i close my talk here right now over to bis aman you are muted aman aman thank you very much sir for your uh, uh, address to all the members now i will start with a small presentation uh, regarding the important standards which are being uh, which has been formulated by the renewable energy sources section committee and after that uh, we will move toward the uh, more presentation which will uh, regarding the biogas plant standard so i will just share my screen
I think everyone is able to view my screen. Yes. Okay. Uh, very good. I think so, it's the Medcom fund side you, you can. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, sir. So okay. renewable energy so one, uh, sources committee is the one of the committee under BIS, which deals with the formulation of standards in the field of renewable energy sources such as solar energy, biogas energy, and biomass energy, etc. There are total number of twenty seven standards which have been uh, published so far. Uh, in expert classification uh, there are a total of 10 products five code of practices and four methods of test and sevens are in other uh, uh, in other category like process and system so i will just highlight uh, some important standards uh, like is 12933 there are various parts which are related to solar flat plate collectors which uh, uh, covers the requirements its components and other standard is uh, is is 16648, which is related to the concentrated solar thermal uh, like parabolic dish concentrator. These uh, under this, uh, it has covered the concentrator which can heat up the uh, process water and other liquids up to from 60 to 350 degrees Celsius, which are uh, 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 the application used in industries. Uh, next is related to to the solar cooker uh, box type specification IS 13429 part 1. This standard specifies the requirements of box type solar cooker for cooking purpose. Other, these are some more important standards uh, IS 16542, 16543, and 16544. These are related to all glass evacuated solar water heating system. Currently, these standards are under uh, wide circulation and uh, are in commenting, commenting stage. Other standard with IS 9478 family size biogas plant. The main objective of this webinar that we have uh, organized today is regarding the uh, uh, getting the comments from different stakeholders uh, on the revision of this standard only family size biogas plant, which is now cover all the small, medium, and large size biogas plant. Uh, other standard related to biogas we have is IS 12986, which is related to glass fiber reinforced polyester. Raising gas holder. It is also under revision, currently under revision. Uh, with this, uh, uh, thank you from my side. Uh, now we, we can move to some other presentation. Uh, our other presentations. Uh, I have, first of all, I request all the part participants to post their uh, question in the chat box, if any, so that we can discuss these uh, questions at the end of the technical session. So everyone can post their uh, questions in the comment box. We can and take up a, uh, after the technical session. Now with this, uh, I uh, request Dr. A.R. Shukla, advisor bioenergy, uh, re retired from MNRE and currently president of Indian Biogas Association, Association for his presentation. Over to you, sir. Shukla, okay, sir. thank you, Aman. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I thank BIS, I thank uh, Panji for uh, uh, sharing his thoughts uh, this afternoon in this meeting and uh, also Rajini's uh, postology. Uh, as Dr. Tripathi has said that uh, we have a long history of biogas plant, how we started from Ministry of Agriculture, then moved on to uh, DNES at that time, then uh, MNRE and uh, MNES and MNRE. So we have done a long journey and I remember that uh, uh, and Arun, uh, at that time was uh, also looking after regional offices and uh, he he was giving i, I remember when i uh, arun you might uh, also uh, remember when i went for the, the first time after joining the then dst uh, i went to sultanpur and you were looking after sultanpur at that time so me and dr ved mitra both visited. that was my first field visit after i joined the government and uh, Dr. Arun uh, was there at the field level, <laughs> and he has shown the biogas plant family size somewhere uh, made, somewhere half made, somewhere working. So those were the times. And when we have the meeting, it was three days meeting in uh, MNRE, and those three days meeting, two days and more than two days sometimes was devoted only on biogas. And the budget, as Dr. Tripathi said, uh, was consumed by biogas. So I was. 
uh, I, I was a witness when uh, Mr. Venkateshan became the secretary and I was lo looking after the uh, planning and coordination. So he told me, Dr. Shukla, uh, let us do one thing. I, I asked him what, sir? Look, that biogas program is going on very well. So, but other programs are not picking up. So let us take some money from here and keep it for the other programs. So that is how Sona and Wind and all that got more money out of the biogas plant budget. Uh, and that and but then uh, the situation is started changing the technology changed the indian uh, uh, cooking habits changed and the rural areas also started getting the other types of well situated superior but uh, what occurred to me when i formally took over as the advisor bioenergy in mnre uh, the family size biogas plant and the small power plant uh, the 3 kilowatt to 50, to 50 kilowatt, that was the uh, domain which I was to handle. So it occurred to me that same uh, Jhola Walaj and Topi Walaj who were to come in our meetings in the different NGOs, MNRE, if that continues, this program will not go. So what should happen that let it compete with the competing uh, fuels, that is the petrol and the diesel uh, and the CNG, of course, was not there at that time that uh, prominent. So for that, uh, this concept of uh, bio CNG or the CBG was brought in. And uh, those who were playing with the technology, they said, why don't you import from Sweden? They are very advanced. I told them, no, I will not do that because you are uh, asking for 40 crores of rupees for one plant. And I do not have budget formally for this. So I, I won't be able to support. So I put together the technologies which were available within the country, with the industry, with the academic institution, within MNRE, put them together. And that is how the demonstration on uh, bio-integrated uh, biogas fertilizer plant was uh, brought in. So biogas fertilizer, the fertilizer, it occurred to me that biogas is only one component of it. Fertilizer is very important. So I put it in the name itself. Instead of biogas, it became biogas fertilizer plants. And uh, after that, uh, the plan it was formulated. Uh, I formulated it, then uh, of course I retired. So uh, formally the uh, program on CBG or the bio CNG for the purification and bottling of biogas uh, plan, the biogas was launched from the MNRE. And it grew uh, over a period of time, different types of plants were set up, different experiences came, technology were defined, modified, some came from outside. Uh, and ultimately in 2018, the MOPNG, uh, uh, MOPNG launched a success program. That was again the outcome. I wrote to MOPNG that why, why do your public sector companies uh, take, uh, install 10 plants each, the bigger plants on bio CNG so that the investment comes. The sector is not getting investment. Banks are not supporting. So if public sector comes, then it will be possible to support it. So MOPNG took uh, a clue from there and they brought out a biofuel policy in uh, 2018. And then also they uh, landed with the Satat scheme in 2018. Now those things have come, but still many things were to be done. And the standards were very, very much required. And uh, in the field, when you go, then uh, if the tenders are floated, then they don't know what is to be installed. And all types of uh, players are there in the game. And they were not doing the uh, real justice. So with that, uh, MNRE uh, formed a committee for making out the standards. And under the Joint Secretary Chairmanship, a draft was made and it was sent to BIS and BIS uh, uh, made the panel uh, which I got opportunity to uh, support and give my contribution. So that uh, panel I looked into all the aspects and since I knew the background uh, when the draft came it was having only the biogas. It, it was a biogas per se standard not the biogas fertilizer plant standard. So uh, uh, what I did, I requested the experts in the country, different institutions in industry, brought them together so that we get their inputs to really make this a standard where the gas component and as well as the fertilizer components, both are addressed uh, concretely and simultaneously. So this effort uh, has uh, succeeded and uh, 
I, I told Aman that if we are want to do the document in fast uh, uh, accelerated manner, then it is very essential that we have our meetings uh, uh, and do the draft online itself instead of we make something circulated so that it is our every week to uh, twice a week, thrice a week, we were meeting the whole panel was making meeting and we expedited and finally the draft which has been prepared for wide circulation it, it is there now as dr tripathi said that uh, the feed is stock and the processing of that the mechanical electrical equipment which are required uh, that is also to be seen so uh, from the approach side it has been our approach to uh, do it uh, the feed stock portion also the biogas uh, generation portion and also the organic fertilizer portion so since it is a mechanical engineering department of BIS, this uh, therefore we have seen the mechanical electrical component of all, all these major uh, uh, major uh, components of the, this standard. And also what we thought that uh, let it not be only for family size biogas plant as it was earlier. Let us have all the sizes because once we have to make the uh, large uh, bio-CNG uh, production to have the agro waste in particular also taken care of instead of burning then we have to have the small, medium and large scale. And I'm thankful to all the members of the panel. They have very well contributed. And we are able to bring out a draft uh, which encompasses all the three major categories, the size wise, and also the uh, major components of the gas production uh, and organic fertilizer production and its processing. So uh, now the, uh, let us hear uh, uh, to the presentation, uh, uh, which is being done by Dr. Sachin Kumar and others. Let us see, see that. And my request to the participants today in this webinar is that to please quickly provide their inputs so that the standard which comes at month has said uh, that it should become very, very uh, widely accepted, not only by India, but also globally, because ultimately we are going to get global players also in this, in the large size bio and in bio power generation plants through biomechanism. So thanks, Saman, over to you. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your uh, kind words and apprising all the members about uh, the uh, work which has been done by the panel. In such a short time, we have met around 20 times, 20 meeting, panel meetings were held in two months to uh, formulate this standard. Now, I request uh, Dr. Sachin Kumar, Deputy Director and Scientist, uh, Sardar Swaring University in, uh, National Bio, uh, Indian Bio, uh, Bio Energy, Institute of Bio and energy Kapurthala Punjab to give his presentation over to you sir Sachin sir uh, thank you thank you Aman yes, and sir, you uh, can share your presentation yeah, yeah definitely okay sir. Okay. <laughs> Yes, uh, it is visible in full screen. Yes. yes. So yeah. it's visible. Okay. All right. Okay. So thank you, BAS, uh, for uh, entrusting the efforts to give the shape uh, to this uh, biogas plant standard. Uh, initially, this uh, standard work was started uh, through MNRE by SSS Nibe under the chairman of Sri Dinesh Jagdale. Then uh, uh, there, uh, I mean, through a committee, we drafted uh, the standards. I mean, that was in the raw form and uh, which was uh, given to BIS through again through MNRE and uh, now it is in the shape of uh, like standards so it is uh, I mean I will give you the glimpses of uh, that standard and uh, yeah, whatever we have covered in this standard it will be here okay so this is the first uh, phase of the draft it will be like this uh, then the scope which we have covered. Can, 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 can you increase this font size, uh, Sachin? If possible. Oh, I, I guess it is in the full screen. Uh, maybe like. And just if possible. Otherwise, it's okay. It's okay. Give me, give me, give me a 
I think one or two slides I can increase. Otherwise, it will take more time. Okay. It's okay. If mechanically it is to be done, then it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh, so, it's scope, uh, what we have covered in this standard. So, this standard uh, specifies the requirements for design, construction, installation, and operation of small, medium, and large size biogas plants. And it also includes the classification of biogas plants on the basis of daily biogas production, included and excluded feed stocks for plant, plant performance parameters, different designs and materials for digesters and gas holders. So <clears throat> based on the biogas production or daily biogas production, this uh, biogas plants have been classified into like small, medium and large. So uh, 1 to 25 meter cube per day biogas production, it comes under a small scale and 25 to 2500 uh, under the medium scale, then more than 2500 under the large scale. Then uh, the feed stocks which have been included like organic waste from animal, animals and uh, biodegradable solid and liquid organic waste from industries including sugar mills and food processing industries crop residues and uh, suitable stubbles, organic biodegradable fractions of municipal solid waste and domestic sea waste. And the feed stocks which are excluded are like body biomass, papers, cardboard, uh, pasteboard, hardware sludge and other uh, water body sludges and sediments, plastics, uh, metals and uh, biomedical pathogenic waste. So based on different feed stocks, uh, uh, I mean uh, that biogas plants along with organic loading rate, hydraulic retention time, volatile solid removal, biogas seals have been uh, tabulized here. So on uh, the types of feed stocks like poultry waste with seed, uh, municipal solid waste plus seed. So seed may be like uh, we can call it inoculum as well. So that may be like cow dung and other, uh, uh, I mean, developed uh, consortium. So uh, based on uh, different uh, classified uh, biogas plants, the uh, minimum limit have been considered over here. So uh, like how much organic loading rate and how much uh, HRT, uh, volatile solid removal, specific biogas produced uh, like per kg volatile solid rate remove a minimum biogas produced. So all, all three categories have been uh, given here. Uh, other other feed stuff like agricultural waste, uh, maybe like rice straw, kitchen waste, cattle dung, uh, sea waste sludge. Then uh, the characteristics of input feed stocks like we have to maintain the CYN ratio. Uh, it should be like 15 to 30. Uh, uh, and total solid uh, for bad digestion, it should be like 5 to 15 percent. Or if it is for the solid uh, or dry digestion, that uh, total solid should be more than 15 percent. And volatile solid in both the cases should be more than 60 uh, uh, percent. Uh, particle size for small scale uh, biogas plant, it should be less than 5 mm. Uh, for medium, it should be 5 to 15. 15 mm and for large biogas plant it should be uh, more than 15 mm and uh, that carbon also okay c is the organic carbon and n is the nitrogen for, for uh, less than 15 c by n ratio two stage biodigestion is recommended okay uh, then come to the digester performance parameters like temperature so for mesophilic range like if we are using uh, cow dung as inoculum so uh, temperature should be uh, between 20 to 40. For thermophilic processes, it should be like 45 to 60. Uh, pH uh, 6.8 to 7.5. Uh, Fostec ratio, uh, I mean, it's a ratio uh, which assess the fermentation process. And this tag value is an estimation of buffer capacity of sample and FOS value is correspond to the volatile fatty acid content. So that ratio should be 0.3 to 0.4 and uh, it is recommended for biogas plants of capacity uh, more than 500 meter cube per day. And uh, this, this table will give you the assessment of FOS tag ratio. Like if it is more than 0.6, so it is highly excessive biomass input. Uh, so uh, uh, I mean, biomass of feedstock should be stopped to add. 
and if it is 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 again it is excessive biomass input so our feed can be decreased uh, if it is like 0 0.4 to 0.5 and uh, again plant is heavily loaded and it should be monitored closely uh, 0 0.3 to 0.4 it is recommended and you will get maximum biogas production uh, in this range uh, if it is like uh, in the less uh, i mean uh, 0.2 to 0.3 so biomass input of feedstock should be increased when it is low and if it is less than 0.2 and so in that case the biomass input is very low so we should increase the biomass loading okay different uh, designs of biogas plants uh, which have been covered or considered under the, uh, under this standard so this is like for a small scale uh, and large and medium scale so for a small scale like cstr type uh, digesters that may be horizontal or vertical design floating drum like kvic model uh, floating drum uh, with hemisphere digester like pragati model uh, ganesh model flat, uh, uh, floating drum plant made of prefabricated reinforced concrete compound uh, floating drum plants made of uh, fiberglass reinforced polyester uh, similarly for large and medium like usb cstr external circulation sludge bed plug flow reactor uh, bima digester high rate solid digesters film uh, fixed film digest uh, reactors again under small uh, scale like fixed dome plants with a uh, brick reinforced mold, uh, molded dome, which is again Janta model, uh, like Deen Bandhu model, and back type digesters. Again, in a large and medium scale, uh, like fixed dome uh, plant with a brick reinforced molded dome, like PAU Janta model, or uh, this floating film reactors. Then uh, these are some pictures of cross sectional view of a biogas plant. Then uh, material uh, for construction, uh, like there are different uh, Indian standards uh, available, which can be referred like for masonry, reinforced concrete, cement, uh, steel, uh, HDP, LLDP, ferro cement, uh, FPR, FRP, high quality polypropylene sheet, uh, PVC line, uh, polyester, WB coated fabric, uh, polyethylene uh, with polypropylene or ED, uh, EPDM as, as outer layer. Uh, glass uh, fiber reinforced polyester resin with steel frame, uh, brick masonry, uh, masonry uh, PVC line polyester, double UV coated fabric, steel. And this is the calculation uh, for the gas holder volume. Then uh, specifications for membrane-based bio uh, biogas holders. So uh, this is the table uh, can be referred. Then pipes and fittings. So the pipes carrying biogas shall be either made of SS304 or above. Uh, polyethylene uh, as per IS14333 or HDPE as per IS4984, uh, polypropylene, polycarbonate, etc. The pipe uh, shall be corrosion resistant uh, to the feedstock as well as biogas. And the pipe shall uh, be distinct uh, for feedstock and biogas and shall be coated with uh, canary yellow as per IS2379. Uh, within the plant, uh, before purification unit, the pipes and fittings are to be of stainless steel. After the purification of biogas, it may be transported using pipes and fittings being used for natural gas as per IS 15663 part 1. However, small biogas plants may also use HDPE, uh, CPVC, pipes and fittings instead of SS. So all piping materials shall have appropriate corrosion allowance and uh, UV tolerance for design life for minimum 15 years. Then uh, material for feedstock is storage so for solid feed stocks uh, that should be like a storage yard uh, may be equipped with leachage, uh, leachate storage facility made of rcc floor uh, as per is456 and leachate collection tank designed for different feed stocks the yard shall be properly covered from three sided walls and roof can be flexible cover however 
small biogas plants may use leak proof brick uh, structure as per IS 1905 uh, for storage of feed stock. And it should also be ensured that uh, there is no release of foul orders from the feed stock storage facility and protect it from uh, rodents, flies, and other scavenging animals. For liquid feed stocks, that may be stored in appropriate leak proof tanks before adding it to the digester. And this is the uh, bio CNG uh, standard for uh, transportation fuel, like uh, as per IS 16087. So, uh, yeah, this can be referred for bio CNG. Then, for cooking, uh, biogas may be supplied to households for use in biogas cooking stove for cooking purpose. And uh, that should be as per the IS 8749. Electricity generation from biogas. So uh, that may be used for generation of electricity using CNG engines. 100% uh, biogas engines may also be used for conversion of biogas into electricity as per the relevant Indian standards. Then specification of organic uh, fertilizers as per the schedule of four of FCO. So uh, two amend uh, recently two amendments have come like uh, one in 2020 and one another in 2021. So 2020 uh, defines the solid uh, biofertilizer while 2021 liquid biofertilizer. So both the slurries, I mean uh, both the fractions uh, liquid and solid of um, uh, slurry can be utilized. So uh, like moisture particle size, uh, TOC, uh, NPK, CYN ratio, pH, conductivity, pathogens all are defined. So the difference in uh, only moisture, like uh, 30 to 40 percent moisture in uh, solid uh, fertilizer, biofertilizer, and 90 to 97 percent moisture in liquid biofertilizer. Then rest parameters are the same. And this is the heavy metals uh, maximum limit under that FCO. Then value addi addition uh, can be done for the fermented organic manure. Uh, uh, to prepare like prom that is like phosphate rich organic manure. Uh, this can be prepared by mixing solid manure fraction uh, with fine powder of rock phosphate to obtain final product uh, with a minimum of 8% of P2O5 and 10% of organic carbon. And ratio of each ingredient can be worked out after analysis of all ingredients and standardizing to achieve the desired value. Organic manure containing 3% nutrients, this can be done by adding a small quantity of uh, castor or neem cake and or rock phosphate to comply to the total NPK requirement. <clears throat> then uh, sampling and analysis for, uh, for feed stocks, uh, the analysis should be done like total solids, volatile solids, compositional analysis, CYN ratio, uh, biochemical methane potential and for products or process like a measurement of pH during the uh, digestion, phostec again, phostec ratio again during the digestion, biogas yield and biogas analysis and uh, next uh, the analysis of digested slurry to meet out the FCO uh, standards. Then uh, this is the testing parameters uh, for analysis of digested slurry. For sampling, uh, already the uh, standards are available that can be followed, uh, like sampling, moisture, color, odor, uh, particle size, bulk density, TOC, uh, TON, or total nitrogen, total phosphate, total uh, potassium, and micronutrient. Then uh, these are the list of standards which are referred uh, to prepare these standards. I will conclude here. I would acknowledge Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, my own institute, Sadar Sunan Singh National Institute of Bioenergy, and uh, Bureau of Indian Standards. Uh, this is the committee, first committee constituted by SSS Nibe under the chairmanship of uh, Shri Dinesh uh, Jagdale. So uh, these are other members. And this is the committee constituted by BIS, uh, which gave the final shape to the standards under the convenership of uh, Dr. Iyash uh, Thank you. Thank you, Man. Over to you.
Woman, you are not audible. When there is some problem in your audio. Am I audible now? Uh, there is some disturbance, Saman. Uh, speak again. Oh, no, there's a voice break. Ah, no, sir. Am I audible now, sir? Yes, yes. Now, thank you very much, Sachin, sir, for such an informative uh, presentation. Uh, now, I request uh, uh, Sri uh, Pavitra Mohan to give his presentation. Over to you, sir. Am I audible now? Yes, yes, you are audible. Yeah. What do you, sir? Uh, now am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. And I, I guess my presentation is visible. Yes, sir, it's visible. So full screen card use ko ek to aur sab kuch Okay, sir. Namaste, sir. Uh, a very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, Khosla sir from BIS and Tripathi sir. Namaste. And our very own guide, and he has, who has been guiding all through us, uh, Air Sukla sir, and we have, uh, and he has guided all, all through the formula standards. So, and all the participants, a very good evening to all of you. Now, let let me start my presentation. Now, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has uh, continued the bio energy program. Now, earlier we had three programs like waste to energy program, biomass program and biogas program. Now, all the programs have been amalgamated into one that is bioenergy umbrella scheme, the, which has been continued up to 2025 and 26. Now, uh, these, these are three programs. All the details have already been said to all the stakeholders and many might be knowing the details uh, that first one is waste to energy program. Uh, through this program, we support uh, establishment of bioenergy projects uh, that uh, in the form of biogas, bio CNG, and power from urban, industrial, and agricultural waste. And through this, we generally can let's say waste uh, wealth to waste uh, in the form of wealth, waste to wealth. We convert uh, waste in the form of energy. And the main target industries, which are uh, under the bio waste to energy program, which MNR targets is distillery, starch, and paper and pulp industries, agriculture produce marketing committees, and uh, other very large municipal corporations also. Now the CFA pattern uh, that is 25 up uh, that varies from up to from 25 lakh for for a one megawatt equivalent biogas generation up to uh, four crore. Uh, that is for bio CNG generation and all the details that is for, that is different for different type of projects that is power generation power and power generation from bio waste other than msw earlier the msw component was added now it has been removed from the bioenergy scheme now so support from rural energy solutions like gasifier is also given that is uh, up to 1.5 crore per megawatt that is for thermal electrical application uh, mnre provides the central financial assistance and 20 percent higher cfa has been now incorporated earlier it was not not there. The special category states that like and gosalas to increase the viability of gosalas and cow shelters in our country. Now, now MNRE has given a provision of 20% higher subsidy over and above the CFA for these things. Now the second scheme under the umbrella that is biomass program. Under the biomass program, the energy recovery from biomass resources, that is all the waste 
other than bagas waste waste that is the sugarcane industry uh, leaving the sugarcane industry waste aside all the other kind of like uh, other wastes uh, we support the uh, projects uh, for the generation of power and the new component is added this time that is support for biomass pellet manufacturing now under the biomass pellet manufacturing uh, ministry will support the pellet manufacturers and which will support in terms of for the uh, mission of a government of india to replace up to 5% coal from the existing thermal power plants and it will and the minimum capacity is 1 tons per hour capacity of pellet manufacturing and 9 lakh per tph will be provided for bricket and pellet manufacturing and biomass uh, power generation cogeneration projects that is non bagas waste leaving aside the waste from sugarcane industry at 50 lakh per megawatt will be minimum 0.5 megawatt for si minimum size required and 40 lakhs per megawatt subsidy will be provided sell high crore per project now uh, additional uh, cfa will be given to service for service charge to state implement implementing agencies and inspection charges will also be given so that the plants will not be delayed unnecessarily and unduly for uh, lack of inspection and due to not completion in inspection in a timely manner now another is biogas program the biogas program now the very standards what we are discussing now on the biogas standards only the biogas program their uh, ministry has con also continued the scheme that for small and medium and large size biogas program large size biogas plants comes under the west energy program that is greater than 2500 cubic meter and the under the biogas program the small and medium size biogas plants are support for the ministry and under the scheme the uh, subsidy from uh, starting from 9800 per biogas plant for a 1 cubic meter biogas plant up to 70000 rupees for a biogas plant of 20, 20 to 25 cubic meter uh, for different slabs are there for providing subsidy for biogas generation and higher subsidy is given to northeastern states hilly states where it, uh, where the cost of construction is generally higher due to more difficult transportation and more more cost of raw materials now higher subsidy is given to these projects now uh, for the medium size biogas projects that is the main target is dairies poultry and figuries and all uh, uh, a lot of uh, dairies poultry cooperatives are also coming In coming into installation of these plants, that is community size biogas plants, and up to uh, less than twenty twenty five hundred cubic meter. Uh, now the subsidy has been increased from the last year, and now it has been increased from earlier it was twenty five thousand. It, it now it, the thirty the minimum increment of ten thousand per uh, kilowatt has been increased. Up, uh, now up to three, and the slab has also been changed from up to fifty. 3 kilowatt to 50 kilowatt size of biogas power generation capacity 45000 per kilowatt will be provided central financial support which will increase the viability of these projects and additional subsidy uh, support will be provided to uh, beneficiaries of uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe beneficiary in northeastern region uh, and islands and registered gosalas uh, the gosala which are registered under iwbi animal welfare board of india and higher subsidy will be provided to them now the these are the implementing Agencies and all it uh, for state the biogas program is being implemented through state agencies and BDTC and KVICs and for biomass and waste to energy program Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency which is an autonomous uh, NBFC under our ministry is is the implementing agencies. Now let's come to what the issues we are facing while dealing with the biogas plants and bio energy overall bio energy projects uh, because in general. to provide safe reliable and quality of the need for formulation of this is the main benefits of formulation of standard for all the products the same condition is for the bioenergy projects also that is safety of plants and reliability and quality of plants and minimizing health hazards to consumers users and installers and protecting the environment the quality and promoting exports and import because the exports uh, when we adhere to a standard without without a standard there is difficulty in export exporting regarding the prefab Biogas plants and flexi and bag type digesters. If there is a standard set and it it can be adhered by the manufacturers and export will be uh, 
they they can use it for exports also and controlling our proliferation of varieties because now it is a lot of varieties a lot of manufacturers are coming and everyone is claiming our product is good uh, without uh, without a proper standard and it is very difficult that uh, everyone is asking that uh, our pro product should get tested and we should be given approval separately so that we can yeah, we can uh, install the plants for small especially the small biogas plants and medium biogas plants and, and we can get subsidy from central government but uh, it is very difficult without a standards for the ministry to ensure the quality for the biogas projects and it is uh, leading to pending applications and all after the standards will be issued the uh, and it will be it can be adhered by the manufacturers and they can registered themselves that they are adhering, adhering to the standards and it will be helpful for for government also to give approvals and make them eligible under the uh, biogas program and promotes uh, healthy business environment and fair competition among entrepreneurs without a standard it is uh, difficult to assess the proper quality and and who is uh, not giving proper quality material and everyone is trying to try to put their product as the best that the, their product should be supported under the ministry's biogas program. So with the standards and it is very useful for the uh, policy makers, for the manufacturers and uh, for the users uh, and all the uh, if all the ever things that is a, a must for bioenergy sector also without and these are the existing standards in the biogas sector as ISO has already there and some are under development and so uh, because now under the leadership of uh, so guidance of Sukla sir and Jagdale sir and Tripathi sir and uh, everyone is trying to get the biogas stand, standards notified as soon as possible after so that uh, we can uh, later on we can move to all the biogas standards as per ISO what are there we can have a journey towards that and uh, these are the existing biogas standards now the first one is uh, the earlier uh, standards of 1989 now that that is under revision and after the revision a lot of new things the technology has changed over the last 40 years nearly 30 years so it is very it will be very useful for the users and manufacturers everyone to look uh, look have a look at the standards and make their products accordingly and the fiber reinforced plastic frp then that gas holder standard that is also under revision that is IS 9478 and IS 12986 and both the standards will be notified very soon as the our VIS team is very much active in uh, now and they will and definitely make them happen very soon and other biogas things small family, family size biogas from the biogas stove the standard is already there and and biogas and biomethane standard that 2013 IS 16087 that is already is there and another thing is that a uh, standard for pellets and rickets that is a need and we can gradually move towards that because uh, uh, already uh, the, there has been a guideline issued by the central electricity authority and regarding the standards calorific value density and all the physical and uh, other parameters of a pellet but uh, once the standard is notified and it, it will be very useful for the manufacturers and users and the uh, policy makers and ministry also and specification of FOM which is already incorporated into the current standard and already discussed in detail by Sachin sir and I don't need, it, need to go into the details and this is all the standards and another thing is that if uh, it is uh, very it will be very useful that uh, all the state Stakeholders will give their comments at every time if to, to the tiniest detail they should look into the draft standards and give comments to the VIS so all the detail all the details and if anything has been omitted and any revision is there it can be it, it, it can be added to the details so that uh, I request every stakeholder to give their comments uh, uh, within the next 10 days because uh, at, uh, by the uh, 25th of this, this month uh, that will be removed from that from the comments so that it, all the comments can be incorporated and will be included while notifying the final standards and thank you thank you for and thank you vis for giving me this opportunity and thank, thank you all
थैंक यू ओवर टू यू अमन जी थैंक यू सर फॉर सच इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ आई थिंक वी कैन टेक अप सम क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर आई थिंक बिफोर दैट आई विल जस्ट गिव यू सम आइडिया हाउ टू कमेंट ऑन दैट डॉक्यूमेंट एक्चुअली सम आर आस्किंग हाउ टू रीच टू द डॉक्यूमेंट सो आई विल जस्ट शेयर माई स्क्रीन सो दैट एवरी वन के एबल टू व्यू इट is my skin visible to everyone please confirm someone confirm no not so far not so far sir abhi dikh raha hai nahi ha aur bhi theek hai dikh raha so this is the, the this was the uh, agenda that was shared with all the members so at the last uh, page of this agenda there is uh, one link, link link to comment on the standard so when you are going to click on this link or just copy paste it in the browser so it will take you to this page uh, in on this page you can see that uh, these are all the standards which are under development of the renewable energy sources sectional committee under this there is one standard uh, code of practice for design construction installation and operation of biogas uh, biomethane plant so in this uh, uh, when when you click on this comment first of all you will uh, can click on uh, download here you will get two options cover letter and document so when you are going to click on document so the document will get open So this is the document uh, that we are talking about. So you can uh, all the members can go through this document. This is under currently under drafting uh, under commenting stage. Here you can see that the, the last date of the comment is 25th of December. So everyone can comment by the uh, due date. Uh, the this is the forward and uh, some uh, uh, history about the standard and what we have uh, covered in this standard. some major changes and here it was uh, the standard start clause wise so you can what you can you can provide your comments clause wise so when you are going to click uh, on this, this comment so it will take you to uh, one of the page where you have to create your account and then log in and then you can comment on the document or well, alternately what you can do uh, you can go through this document and at the last uh, end of the presentation you can see this email id med@bh.gov.in you can share your comments on this email also but the comments that you provide should be the clause wise so that it would be easy to discuss among the panel members just provide your comments clause wise so after going through the documents i think uh, everyone is able to uh, understood what are uh, what i was trying to say so uh, we can take the uh, comments that we have received in the commenting section uh, aman ji some comments were there in the comment section that some of the materials have removed so yes, i think i was yes, just, uh, going through this yes because it will be helpful if uh, who have any issues you can send the email to the email mentioned by aman ji so that everything everything can be included if anything has been missed it will be very helpful for the bis and all the committee members to include everything because yeah, yeah. at last yeah. the stakeholder will use the standards they have to adhere to the manufacturer and all so it will it will be very helpful yes sir so there are some general comments like please share the link of the proposed document i have already uh, explained how to reach to the document and provide your comments share the link in the chat box okay i will share that link in uh, chat box also i have already shared that link 
you can go through that link and you will uh, find the document that i have just explained and you can mail your comments the comment should be clause wise on this email id i have shared the email id in comment box also सर एक इसमें एक कमेंट आया हुआ है इसमें टेक्निकल है सचिन सर इसमें एक कमेंट आया कि फॉर लार्ज प्लांट्स द पार्टिकल साइज इज मेन्शन एज फिफ्टीन एम ग्रेटर बट देर शुड बी सम अपर लिमिट लाइक फिफ्टीन एम एम टू समिट एम एम सिंस द पार्टिकल साइज ग्रेटली इम्पार्ट बायोडिग्रेडेबिलिटी सर इसके ऊपर कुछ कमेंट करेंगे साहब यस वी वी कैन शुक्ला सर कैन कमेंट बेटर बेटर देन मी आई गेस या इट शुड बी सम लिमिट बिकॉज वी हैव टू ट्रांसपोर्ट आई मीन वंस वी वी प्रिपेयर और प्री प्रोसेस द फीड स्टॉक देन वी हैव टू ब्रिंग इट टू डाइजेस्टर सो फॉर दैट वी नीड सम मीडियम लाइक पंपिंग or something so that would be like uh, i mean particle site should be in the that form so that slurry can be formed and can be pumped or transfer to uh, uh, digester easily so uh, aman can, you you can you can uh, keep this comment i mean uh, for the uh, if i mean for modification my concern also was uh, in that uh, section like uh, if we uh, think of like large scale plants So we can reduce uh, the, the particle size as much as possible, because at large scale we can have the machines so that uh, like milling or something, so that we can reduce the size easily. But uh, for small scale, it's a bit difficult to have such machines uh, to reduce the size. So that that may be like the the size may be reconsidered uh, for all the uh, classified uh, biogas plants. Uh, Shukla sir, uh, uh, will you please come in? Yeah, yeah, that's right. In fact, uh, we have to have a limit on that. And once uh, all the comments are uh, received, we are going to have a discussion and uh, give a final number. Is what should be the appropriate one? But as you rightly said, let it be uh, taken up uh, you know, for uh, all the input from the members and finally give the number. Okay, that that that's good. sir one more question is there are energy crops included so uh, i think it is related to, to some feed stock i think energy crop uh, because the presentation which uh, sachin has done in that energy crop uh, uh, energy crop per se was not mentioned probably that is the reason for uh, confusion but this also uh, we can uh, amen we can uh, make a note if uh, some we need to write uh, we will write at the time of uh, finalization of the document and i mean it shouldn't be excluded if if at all uh, uh, the way we are writing in the document if it appears it is excluded then we should write uh, this word energy crop okay sir so one yeah. more comment is there uh, uh, some of the plants in january uh, germany mm. have been doing pelletization of this solid fraction of the biogas digested it mm. is easy to transport and market it will be better if we could include the standard for this product as well that we can consider because ultimately uh, it depends that after all we are making it in the solid form and we are uh, bagging it so after the water has been removed and we have uh, then the solid portion of the fertilizer then either we put in the bag and uh, transport it or make the pellet and then uh, Uh, the, then uh, transport it. Ultimately, uh, the pelletization is going to, to uh, cost additional money. So, uh, if for Indian situations, it doesn't appear necessary because uh, the people are uh, used to the farmers are used to use the, the fertilizers in the solid form. They spray spray it in the field wherever it is to be applied. So. Uh, in practice, it may not be required, but uh, however, you know, make a note. We'll we can deliver it on this. If uh, anyone can make the pellets and he can uh, find the market, because the ultimately cost is going to become higher. Even the current cost, uh, the people are not able to afford to buy. 
So no harm in keeping it uh, open and uh, we'll see at that time. Okay, I think one more last comment we can entertain. Uh, it is uh, related to some Sanjay Patel has commented. Is mm -hmm. there any BI standard for PVC coated free fire retardant UV protective material as per IS 7016? I think for a small size biogas plant, uh, prefabricated uh, some materials we have already added in our draft. Uh, for 7016 is already added. Yes, sir. Uh, it is already there. I think Mr. Sanjay Patel can uh, go through the our uh, draft standard and provide for the comments if he uh, I think that's uh, all for the comments. Sanjay Patel is old timer earlier. He was now probably he's in the same person. I think sir, I have also talked to him. He's from Eco Fuels, I think. Uh, uh, earlier he was doing some work in Gujarat. Then he moved to US. Uh, I currently am not aware whether he continues there or he has come back. Okay, sir. I think that's uh, for uh, all for comments. Uh, all can provide their comments uh, uh, to MED or directly comment on the website. I've already told all the members how to reach to the document. Uh, document. So thank you everyone. I request uh, Chairman Sir to uh, give the closing remarks for the uh, today's webinar. Chairman Sir, over to you. Sir, you are not audible. You have to unmute yourself, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, I find it was a very uh, good uh, discussion, at least uh, uh, about the standards and about the program, which uh, Pavitra has uh, elaborated all these things. And uh, so now the comments which we have received from the uh, chat box also, uh, I would request uh, to consider all these comments, uh, record these comments, and then we can print it out. We, the committee can consider that also. Uh, I am. I have my uh, some. Uh, comment which I raised earlier also because uh, we have raised the capacity you know earlier uh, standard was for a family size biogas plants and based on that the different uh, things were considered now here we have gone up to 2500 cubic meters per day which is one of which is a very big size biogas plant single size if we consider and uh, similarly 25 to 2500 range is very big so can we can we consider little uh, segregating the range or if we really want to make this standard valid for large size par, uh, large size of biogas plants then there are many other issues will come up because this this standard is not covering the complete components of the large size biogas plants so uh, can we rethink on this and we limit it to certain uh, extent uh, not not extending it to 2500 uh, cubic meter per day okay. or we bring this uh, we elaborate it more sir so that was my concern okay all right so you uh, aman uh, note down the uh, views of uh, dr tripathi and uh, wherever it uh, it has not been adequately added for the large capacity we should add that is required otherwise it won't be used yeah it looks little incomplete kind of uh, whatever yeah whatever uh, it is need to be added we'll add it so it becomes right. and i will also try to give some input uh, on that so that uh, we can address this yeah that is very useful so after uh, after 25th of december uh, what is going to be our uh, further models of friendly sir as we have received uh, some comments here and uh, 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 all other members are going to provide some more comments. So after 25th, 5th of December, uh, whatever comments we have received, we will uh, discuss among the panel members. And whatever the suggestion of the panel member, it will be put up to the committee. And uh, after incorporating, if there is a uh, need to be further uh, circulation of the document as a wide circulation for the okay. more comments, as some technical changes will be uh, done. So it will be done as a wide circulation or otherwise uh, as the committee decide it will be sent for printing okay 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 thank you thank you so uh, with your permission sir if any member would like to say something on this or we can conclude this today's meeting yeah because the info has already come in the chat uh, sir no more comments are there we can close it okay, okay then we uh, we thank to all of you uh, for uh, having come over here out of your busy schedule and contributing in this standard which i feel it will go a long way in implementation of our uh, bioenergy programs
thank you so much uh, to bis and uh, all the participants